Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Zen Khan, and I'm the managing partner of Zen Professional Development. Today, I will be your host for this webinar, and I will be joined by Prabhin Nair from Heal Middle East and Manny from Brandbox, who will be hosting today. Today's session is about safer schools and the reopening of schools. My first question is, what were your main priorities when reopening the school? Um, and I'd like to start with Mark, since he's already opened his school in Hong Kong. Uh, so, Mark, um, I'd appreciate uh, your answer on this question. Um, I think the first priority is just making sure that you can put all the testing measures in place. So, I mean, we invested in thermal cameras on entry because we realised that you couldn't really have a queue of people being tested with a thermal gun, you know, head gun. Um, so thermal imaging cameras, I think, were the best investment we made in terms of getting vast, you know, quick numbers of pupils into the school. Um, and what are your biggest concerns about students returning or what were your biggest concerns? Um, biggest concerns were children settling. You know, you get all the little footprints by the gate for where children can stand as they come in. So these children are from six to 14 now in that school. And they're all very regulated, follow the rules. And I just look over, over out of my office at playtime, break time, and all the young girls, for the first time they'd seen each other, were all arm in arm running around. For reopening a school in three weeks, um, you know, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, for, for me, in terms of priorities of reopening, um, I, of course, it comes down to safety. That is the utmost and the biggest priority, and that's the reality because if you don't have specific measures in place to ensure the safety of your the students, uh, your staff, parents, and other stakeholders coming in and out of the school, and if those measures are not in place in their entirety, then what that will mean is you have a number of cases and uh, you may have to go to a full-time model. And then our reflections, I put that little photograph there because, you know, I don't think we should forget what our children have been through, seen on the news, and let's build on it. Here's some information about our health and safety qualifications. Do reach out um, or email info at ZenPD uh, for any inquiries that you might have. We also provide a level two infection control uh, prevention and a level two infection control training as well. And that is also available online. One of the trainings that we provide as e-learning uh, that has recently been added is actually safeguarding children. I don't know if many of you are aware, but we are the only training provider in the UAE and the Middle East providing a high field level two qualification in safeguarding. So that's the level two qualification in safeguarding. We are the only training provider that provides the designated safeguarding lead training uh, in the UAE. Uh,